Hey guys, it's Roger Hay. I'm really glad I can be here today. So Rosie's decided to take us to lunch and she's taken us to Sip Sam Thai, which is right at the intersection of McNeil and Palmer. A lot of good places to eat in this area. And uh, if you happen to stop by and visit them, let us know what your experience was like. We'd love to get some feedback. And we're going to go inside and uh, try their food and let you know how it went. So Brittany, where are we at today? Today we're at Sip Some Thai. I'm thinking I want some chicken pad thai. Or I'm kind of thinking basil fried rice. I don't know. I need some help. <laughs> basil fried rice sounds very interesting. And Rosie, what were you thinking when you chose Sip Some Thai? Man, I love the raw wood, the ambience, and the decor. And, uh, you know, if they've spent so much time in presenting, I saw some reviews. I was like, food must be good. And Brie was visiting us, making some videos. and. I always like to create an experience for us to have a memory. And the coolest thing is they give you a menu and you can just check mark everything that's on it. So you don't have to wait for an order. What do you think about the food today? Food, just tasted a little extra because of y'all. But man, it was clean, so well done, great service. And they gave me the to-go boxes. And you, Brittany, it seems like you really enjoyed your dish. Oh, my dish was amazing. I'm always on the lookout for good Thai restaurants because I don't get it all the time since Chris doesn't like it. This satisfied my craving to no other. Oh, oh wow. And guys, I ordered my dishes at a, a 10 spice level, mm. and uh, I should have probably put a 12 on there, uh -uh. right? <laughs> Anyways, no, it was, too spicy. It was hey, delicious. Cream cheese wontons, oh. cream cheese wontons oh. got an extra vote, extra set of thumbs up. All right, guys, that was our meal today, and hopefully you'll join us and let us know what you think of Sip Some Thai.